doctor. These darn ballpoint pens. That's your thermometer. Examine that patient's mouth, see if I left my pen there. You didn't. Mr. York is dressed now. I'm going to roll him in. Come in, please, Mr. York. Have a seat. No, on the couch. That'll be all, Baker. Go on, beat it. He is in a mood today. What's he so angry about? He was born angry. When the doctor who delivered him slapped his bottom, he slapped back. Seriously, Hannah, all week he's been grumpier than ever. Is something bothering him? I wish I knew. Four eggs, juice, cereal, bacon, toast, waffles with syrup, bran, coffee, and sweet rolls. It's, it's a very substantial breakfast for any man. With a little fresh fruit to eat on the way to work to tide you over to your coffee break, you know. And then a, a couple of candy bars and some salted nuts. That, that should get you to lunch. Soup, salad, rolls, stew, spaghetti, milk, pie a la mode, iced coffee, and some mints for lunch after your cocktail. It uh, keeps you going until your afternoon snack of uh, sandwiches and soft drinks. And the popcorn takes you to tea time for finger sandwiches and hot coffee, crackers and cheese. I suppose you do need the fish and chips and the tacos and the sodas to get you home in time for highballs before your usual nine-course dinner. But, York, you have got to stop this constant nibble, nibble, nibble in between. We are the Avengers. We are the Avengers. The Mysterious One Plus Three. The Mysterious One Plus Three. This is our sign. This is our sign. No, no. only to we. This is our sign. Hi, you guys. You still snooping around, kid? Wagadorn, what's he doing down here? Yeah, Cor, I told you this was our secret meeting. Yeah, so bug out, kid. This is a secret private personal club. But I live here, and this is my laundry room, too. Listen, Baker, this is our secret clubhouse, see? And only secret members of the Avengers can come in during meetings. Yeah, so go upstairs and play with your babysitter. Can't I be in your club or LJ Wagadorn? I'm your best friend. Well, please, is he really your best friend, Waggy? Sometimes. When you guys aren't here, I am all the time. You can play with my yo. Your what? My yo. Used to be a yo-yo, but when yo got busted. Avengers? What do you guys think? Think Baker's enough of a guy to join the Avengers? I don't know. He looks like a baby. Well, I'm not. I'm six years old. Hey, he can find those guys on the next block. The Buccaneers? Yeah. Can you climb a tree? Sure. A big tree all the way to the top? If I can. Do I get to be in your club? Avengers? That'll be his initiation test. Okay, you meet us at that big tree in front of the school, Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. Boy! Wait a minute. Do you swear that you will never talk about this secret club to anyone, even if they torture or even kill you or even pain to your body? Yeah. Yes, what? I swear. You're almost an Avenger, Corey. But not yet. See you Saturday, kid. Yeah, Saturday. Now, don't be alarmed. What is it? Corey. What's wrong? I'm afraid he's running a temperature. His forehead's very warm. Do you have a thermometer? I broke ours testing a cake in the oven last week. Why didn't you bring him up with you? I wasn't sure you'd be home yet, so I came up and I saw the light under the door. Oh, poor baby. It's probably his tooth again. 
At dinner, he did complain he had a toothache, but I thought it was just a polite way of not eating my stew. Oh, no, Marie. His tooth's been bothering him off and on all week. I'm taking him to the dentist tomorrow after school. I am a dreadful cook, you know, Julia. In school, I was on the track team, so I didn't have to take home egg. What's that? It's just a mild sedative to ease the pain. May I have one? Do you have a toothache, too? No, but why wait till the last minute? <laughs> Thank you. You feeling better? Yes. Good. Now you can go to sleep in your own bed. And tomorrow, we'll have Dr. Brown take a look at that baby tooth of yours. Baby? I'm not a baby. No, but that's a baby tooth back there. But I'm not a baby. No, Cory, you certainly are not. Mm. Good night. Mom? Yes, sir? How does a boy have to be before he's a guy and not a baby anymore? Well, that depends on the boy. Do you think I'm going to be a guy pretty soon? You're my guy already. Maybe I'll be a real guy Saturday. Good night, mister. You order this gastronomic horror for me. I did. Well, what is it? A delicacy named after the Earl of Sandwich. Polish ham and Swiss cheese on French bread with a kosher pickle. Very ethnic. The world is shrinking all the time. Well, I don't want it. The world of the sandwich. All I want is a glass of buttermilk. Dr. Chegley, what's the matter? Is something troubling you? I'm just not hungry, Mrs. Jarvie. But your way. I'm just listening to my woman's intuition. Woman's intuition. That quaint little sixth sense that tells a female she is absolutely right, especially when she's wrong. Where's Baker? Didn't you tell her she could take time off to bring Corey to the dentist? Dentist. What's a kid doing at the dentist? You've had 40 years' experience in medicine. You figure it out. Cafeteria, do you have any buttermilk that hasn't turned rancid yet? Everybody out. <laughs> now, young man, if you'll step in the waiting room, we'll be right with you. Here. Thanks! <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, what's the verdict, Dr. Brown? Uh, it's abscessed, all right. Mm. It's got to come out. Ugh, when? Well, just as soon as the medication reduces the swelling. Uh, let's schedule it for Saturday morning, huh? Say, uh, ten? We'll be here. Good. Now, if you like, I'll uh, be glad to talk to the boy. There's a little surgery involved, and as we both know, patients can use a little reassurance. Oh, thank you, doctor, but mm -hmm. Corey is a nurse's son, and he has a very starchy backbone. <laughs> You're expecting quite a lot from a six-year-old, Mrs. Baker. Maybe, but he usually lives up to my expectations. Corey, honey, come in here a moment, please. Do you know what? You have a bad, wicked old tooth, and it has to be taken out. It does? Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. Saturday? We can't put it off, son, but don't worry. It won't hurt a bit, I promise. No, no, I can't. It doesn't hurt anymore, Anna. Corey! Please, Dr. Brown, I can't have my tooth pulled Saturday. I won't do it. You've got to. Now, Dr. Brown knows what's best. I don't care. I'm not going to come here Saturday, and nobody can make me. Corey! You're not hungry? No. Corey. Corey, you know Mother loves you, and I'm your friend. Sure. 
We've always been honest with each other, no matter what. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, I want an answer. Why are you afraid to have your tooth pulled Saturday? I'm not afraid. Now, Corey, there's nothing to be ashamed of, because everybody's afraid sometimes, even grown men. It's doing what you have to do, even when you know you're scared. Now, that's what makes you brave. I'm brave. Of course you are. That's why Saturday morning, you're going to march into Dr. Brown's office. And before you can say, Corey Baker's going to get a new football, it'll all be over. Boy! No, please, Mama, don't make me. I just can't do it. I won't. <laughs> Thought they might brighten up the place. It was a lousy investment. Maybe you should get a refund and spend the money on a lesson in floral arrangement. <laughs> You're not smiling. A half-finished bottle of pain pills and six memos to call a Dr. Abernathy. I found them in Dr. Chegley's desk last night. Did a little snooping after he left. Hmm. I know. Dirty pool. But that poor old bear. I can't stand to see him suffer. Good morning, girls. Ah, chrysanthemums. Life, a race against the clock. Stop, you fool, and while you can. Smell the flowers. Oh, Mrs. Baker. Yes, Doctor. Would you be so kind as to step into my office, please? That is... when you find it convenient. Now, will you believe he's sick? He's sick. Oh, we'll need some lab reports on those. Mm -hmm. And uh, follow up on Long Getty's x-rays. Ah, oh, poor chap. I do hope it isn't a fracture. And have Corey in here after school. Yes, Doctor. Have Corey in here. Yeah, Yarby told me about his problem. I think that I can help. You see, the boy knows me. He's familiar with this place. So we'll act out what's going to happen Saturday. It might relieve some of his trauma and fear. Medical psychodrama. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you, Doctor. I think you are the kindest, most understanding man I have ever met. No. No, no, no. We passed this way but once, Nurse Baker. And we must help each other while there is still time. Here we are, Dr. Chegley. Oh, good. Well, Corey, I asked your mother to bring you here today so we could play a little game. What kind of game? Make-believe. That's right. We're going to pretend that I am Dr. Brown, and you're about to have your tooth pulled. Why are we doing that? So you can find out exactly for yourself what's going to happen at the dentist tomorrow. I know what's going to happen. I'm not going. Well, that <laughs> we'll suppose you are. That's part of the game. Now, first, You'll have to sit in the chair. Up, oh, sit, Daisy. I like Dr. Brown's chair better. Ah, well, uh, let's get past that now. Dr. Brown will ask the nurse to put a towel around your neck. See, nurse? Yes, doctor. And then he'll say, open wide. Open. <clears throat> and uh, then he'll begin to probe in your mouth with a, with a little instrument like this. 
Uh, are you all right? Oh, um, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> and next, the doctor will take a little mask like this, and he'll put it over your nose. It'll be connected to a cylinder of nitrous oxide, laughing gas. Does it tickle? What? Does it tickle? No. Just a few deep breaths. What? Just take a few deep breaths. And you begin to feel sleepy and drowsy. White nurse. Yes, doctor. And pretty soon, the Sandman will come along, and you'll float away to dreamland. You won't feel a thing. Not a thing. Doctor, what's wrong? Get up, son. I have to sit down. I'm thirsty, too. Get one of those cups over there. Dr. Chegley, I know you've been under a terrible strain. You shouldn't put yourself through all this. I consider it a moral obligation. I just don't want Corey to be afraid of the dentist. I'm not. Well, then why are you making such a fuss about having your tooth pulled? Because I just can't do it tomorrow. Corey, there's something you're keeping from me. Now, what is it? I've got to know. I can't tell. I swear not to talk about it. Not even if I was tortured or killed dead or pained in my body. Boy, that's some oath. If I'd made it, I wouldn't tell either. Corey, who made you swear? It's a secret. I'm getting initiated Saturday in their secret club. Don't worry, darling. Your secret is safe. We'll work it out. You wait outside with Mrs. Yarby. Dr. Chegley and I have something to talk about. Okay. Bye, Dr. Chegley. You don't look happy. Maybe you ought to take some of that laughing gas. That rotten kid. He never was afraid of the dentist. No. But I know someone who is. Hannah? Yes? Would you look up Dr. Abernathy in the directory, please? Baker, you've got a beautiful nose. If you want it to stay that way, keep it out of my business. Here it is. Harlan Abernathy. Oral... Oral surgery? Not eating. Those pain pills. Slumping around like Sonny Tufts playing Hamlet. So that's why. Dr. Chegley, how many times have you postponed having your tooth pulled? Well, I... I'm, I'm a very busy man, Baker. I'm a very busy man. Physician, heal thyself. Well, I... Yeah, I guess I have copped out long enough. Good morning, Doctor. Oh, good morning, Miss Baker. How's Corey? Oh, he's fine. I'm the one who's nervous. Well, that's normal for a parent. My nurse is going to be a little late. There's still time to give the boy a run-through. He's already had that. <laughs> uh, when he comes in, could you make it sound a little more terrifying than it really is? Well, I know you're a sensible woman, Mrs. Baker. May I ask why? Come on in, guys. Can you take it? You can stick one in me this long. Don't scare me. God. Would you mind standing by? I might need an extra nurse. Of course, Doctor. A molar metacarpal can be very tricky. Are you all right? Sure, I'm all right. What do you think I am, a baby? Oh, not you, Mr. Baker. <laughs> Well, ladies. 
ladies. Your doctor seems to be in a much better mood these days. Yes. How are you doing with your diet, Mr. York? Splendid, thank you. I've gained six pounds. Oh. <laughs> There's only one thing that's going to help that man. He has to stop eating completely. And how would you go about stopping that, doctor? Well, I could send him to Harlan Abernathy. The dentist? Yeah. If Harlan yanked all the teeth out of his head. <laughs> doctor. Oh, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Nothing to it. <laughs> da, do, 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 do. That reminds me, Julia. I must call your house. My house? Yes. To tell Corey that Dr. Chegley can be a secret Avenger, too. He passed his initiation test with flying colors. <laughs> He's his same old surly self again. <laughs> <laughs>